Hey everyone, I'm very proud to be introducing this video. It's my first collab, and it's with probably my first pick if I could choose any ASM artist to have a collab with. It's the great ASM Arctica. And it's been a while, it's been a long time, since probably October, maybe November of last year. And one thing after another has kind of led to uh, a couple setbacks. But I just wanted to uh, properly introduce him and encourage you guys to go check out his channel if you haven't already. Well, I have to say more, most importantly, I think, being an ASMR channel, you have to be aware of what it is that gives and creates ASMR. And I think ASMRtica is a superb example of how to properly create ASMR. He has a very deep voice. Um, in fact, I, I try to emulate him in, uh, in his slow, very, I mean, he just comes across as a very gentle and, I don't know, endearing, um, very genuine very intelligent, very, um, just an interesting, peaceful mind. And I think those qualities are very much what, what makes a great ASMR video and artists, of course. I think my favorite video of his is probably Probably one of his more popular ones. It's the map drawing of uh, Europe. Although he draws Canada and the US as well. Um, when I wrote down his other ones. Oh yeah, that's right. The, I think one of the most, one of the more creative videos of his was the it was a um it's like a pseudo role play but it was where he used google maps and outlined a bus ride in sweden and uh he had some muffled rain in there and just walked you through or drove you through rather the uh the what a typical experience might be or in, in the different areas of interest. Um yeah, I don't know. I I I I had a hard time time narrowing down his videos that because uh, they're all pretty damn good. Uh the maps in particular of course are really good because he uh he does a really, really good job. Of artfully crafting the ASMR experience by drawing very gently and using the right materials too. He uses this, he uses what seems like a uh, thick or thin cardboard, thick paper, and a pen, which I will show you guys shortly. I have a, I have one as well. I'm really happy that we got to do this. It's hopefully the first of many, and I think collabing in general, as he pointed out in his video, is particularly well fun is the is the right word i guess in the asmr community because there's so many genuine people i think and 
we all just, we're all just here to serve a purpose, to help you guys relax, chill out too, and hopefully on me and ASMR to go end, we give you something cool to think about as you drift off to sleep. So, with that said, let's see what ASMR could drew for us, and uh, I'll see you shortly. So, I guess he... likes coffee in the morning because I've seen a video where he is making coffee so a new package of coffee coffee beans yeah I know he has this um, mach a coffee machine where coffee is made directly from the beans so it has to be coffee So we have coffee beans, bananas, and I think he should buy something more. Yeah, maybe some mints or drops or what you prefer to call these like mints I'm not sure if you can buy fisherman's friend in the US this is written in Swedish and
did not write the fisherman's friend out here, so it could be something else written here. These were actually really good with raspberry flavor. Raspberry flavored mental flavor pastilles. Sure, he will need something more to buy. Maybe a magazine would be nice to read. So, I think I have seen from his videos the Let's Find Out ASMR channel that he have some comics. I wonder if it was Spider-Man, something like that, in 90s comic magazine. So, I'll try to draw Spider-Man. So some logo, maybe. Uh, 
has to be more look more cool I think since he's a superhero If I draw a lot of spider web here, maybe he will see what I try to describe. the beans, the bananas, the mints, and the comic magazine. And I think it's the dark season, middle of the winter, so maybe a nice
these are too many bananas. I think this is enough. One, two, three, four, five. Not more than five. about about the thickness of the tip of the pen it was quite strong. 
strange perspective here. It's not lying flat on the surface, so it's not easy to try to draw a shade in here. But anyway, you'll see what that is. So, the coffee beans, the bananas, the mints, the comic magazine, and the candle. And the marker pen. I think that's enough for a good shopping. So yeah, I'll send this to him right away and we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. I really enjoyed his sketching. That was just kind of cool to watch. Me and him have different drawing techniques. I used pen on my video, but maybe I should have used pencil. I like those sounds a lot better. Um, so most of it, I'm sure you could tell, was very obvious. Um, the bag of what looked like little crackers or wafers, I couldn't make out exactly what they were, and I'm sure it's just because we don't particularly have those over here, so I had to guess, um, and I did my best, and as I alluded to, in the intro. Um, it took me a while to actually, it's been a while since I started, we started making the collab and bouncing ideas off each other and settling on the format and then even longer past that um, before you're seeing the finished product. Um, partially, partially that was because we were really in no hurry. I guess that's what you get when you have two very relaxed, mellow ASM artists collabing together. There's no sense. Where's the fire, you know? <laughs> um, but me, I particularly was procrastinating a little bit on this video because, as you can see... If, um, well, I'm not in that gloomy, very austere, it might not be the right word, very uh, sanitary that work environment in which I make all my videos, uh, the past month or so. As you can see, I am back in my lair. I'm back in my studio, as I like to think of it. And uh, it's repainted in slightly different than maybe the last time you saw it before the uh, ER response video. I had mold all in my drywall, so that wasn't cool. I had to replace that, and it was two entire rooms completely gutted and re-drywalled, and I figured since I got to repaint, might as well take advantage and paint it a, a color I enjoyed, which was dark, dark navy blue, so hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, but that's part, part of the reason. Oh, right, and I, I wrote down as well that I did actually record a previous item show. Probably, probably about a month and a half ago. Towards the end of December. And I accidentally deleted it. 
off my computer. As you might be able to see here, Harmony checked me out on December 26th, 2017. So I made my video shortly after that and I was cleaning out my PC just trying to make room because these videos do take up a lot of space and accidentally deleted it. Oh well. With any luck, this will be a better version. So, the first one, the first one I wanted to do was <laughs> so. I bought most of the items. Obviously the bananas are new because they don't last a month and a half unless I would have frozen them, but I guess there's no real sense in doing that. But the uh, the crackers, I originally bought some Keebler. Um, well, where are they? Yeah, kind of like the Ritz. Ritz cheese crackers because I thought hey, it's something round and crackery but I ended up eating those actually about two boxes of that and so I went and bought some vanilla wafers and I ate those too so <laughs> I don't actually have the wafers but I do have the box because I thought that This was the closest that I could tell. To what it is that he was drawing there. And I briefly glanced at it in the video and it looked like he actually had a pack of something. But I didn't want to go into this video with knowledge of what it was that he created, but I didn't want to taint my, my guess of what it is he was drawing. So I, I just stuck with vanilla wafers, which are incredibly delicious. And I feel like, I feel like they are kind of European in the sense of kind of being like a butter cookie, which in my mind, that's, sorry, I got a really stiff neck, so if you see me doing that, that's why. And, uh, the butter cookie kind of reminds me of um, perhaps what he was going for there when he was drawing that. So, with any luck, it was similar enough to what he got. grab a handful or you can eat them in a bowl of milk like cereal if you're feeling extra fat I thought that uh, I would start with this and let you guys in on the funny story that I ate all the crackers that I got before I could even shoot this because I bought it last week and food, sweets don't last that long in my house. So I hope you like that. 
that. Uh, the next one is... Oh, and this one, ASMR too, I'm sure you, uh, you knew I had something very similar to your, what appeared to be a comic book, to be a Spider-Man comic book, nonetheless, so... small area, so I actually don't know where any comic books are to buy any real ones like this. Of course, I probably could have ordered, ordered one off eBay or something. So, I'm going to just use the one that I had already, that I found at a garage sale a while back. And I made a video of it, but maybe I should make another one, because I really, really enjoyed flipping through the comics. I actually wasn't a big comic book fan, or I met... I am not. I didn't know what, what tense to use there. But my older brother had a bunch of comic books that I inherited as a youngling. And one was The Spirit of Venom. And that really got me into Venom and Spider Man. A little bit of carnage, too. And I think comic books, really all books, really anything with paper makes pretty good ASMR. So it's pretty cool that I was able to utilize this comic book again thanks to ASMRtica kind of knowing I might be able to access a Spider-Man comic book relatively easy so actually we'll go ahead and put that back Smartica absolutely drew a candle.
So, ASMR Optica clearly drew a candle and it very much looked like it was something like this and I thought that it could be very cool to light the candle. for you guys. light, light tapping on the candle wax. I also love the videos where of, of soap carving and wax carving. I think those make really, really, really good ASMR. That's a very, very different sound than the fingernails. So I'm glad he glad Arctica drew this because it's very fun to tap on. I think I'll do is just put it behind me. Hopefully you guys can see it burn. There we go. Okay. What is next on our grocery receipt? Oh, next. Oh, and by the way, I guess I think something nice and I didn't want to give away too much info because that's no fun. But, um, I shop at Publix. Anybody who's in the, well, Florida for sure, but uh, I think they recently started branching out to border states to Florida. So, anybody on in Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, Maybe South Carolina. Um, they might go to Publix as well, but this is the main. This is a Winn Dixie. Are the main local grocery stores that you would go to get your food. So, I've been going to Publix my whole life, I guess. So, they are certainly known for their subs. They make very great submarine sandwiches. And yeah, I really just wanted to show you guys, give you a little bit of local 
insight into where I shop. So next we have what looked like a marker on, in his drawing, because he's a pretty damn good drawer. But I got a, well, I'll show you. I got one of these four colored Bic pens, because I use them a lot, so figured might as well get something that I'm going to use and and I know ASMR to go also is quite fond of these and they really are almost fell out forgot I opened it up for my uh because I opened it up for my previous video that got deleted, so. I'll take it out of the package for you guys right now. springs being compressed and decompressed and then finally red and I think this Probably doesn't help that I had it upside down, but let's try now. switch over to blue without making a loud clicking sound. Can I do it? And then one last. 
last line for my grand magnum opus art piece. I haven't been impatient, but I've been patient, but very much so uh, wanting to bust this thing open and use it because I love these coffee beans. Sumatra, single origin, earthly and herbal, dark. Starbucks is very relatively expensive coffee, but it's not specialty in the sense that you can't go get this at Walmart or Publix. And I, I used to buy it a lot, but it's just um, a, little, a little bit too expensive for me now, so I've humbled my tastes a little bit, and it actually, it really isn't that much of a difference, but when I do splurge, I do like this, turning into a Starbucks commercial, but... Nonetheless, they, I don't know what kind of magic dust they sprinkle on their beans, but I do like this dark, dark roast coffee. It's very, very good. And I always get whole bean. Whole beans, the best. It locks in the flavor. You unleash it right before you're about to make coffee by grinding up your beans 
and it's a great pick me up with a bold, bold flavor. So I really love it. So I'm glad he he drew this. Um, a bag of coffee. And obviously he put some thought into what he was drawing for me because of the comic book. I have an episode on that. Coffee. I have an episode on that. Um, he probably knows I'm chubby and like to eat crackers, so he put that. Candles. Is that thing? Yeah, it's still going. I guess I should have moved it up. No, I guess you can see it. Yeah, he knows I've used candles in the past, so he was, uh, that's, that's just a testament to ASM Arctica. Arctica is very efficient with his words. He, watching him has made me want to focus on not rambling as much. Um, and clearly that's a correlation with how he thinks. Because somehow he can take even ordinary objects, such as his gas station distance finder, and just make it appealing to sit and watch for an hour. I don't know how he does it, but he's just got a very graceful aura about him. And, um, oh yeah, that reminded me that when he, uh, oh, I just saw his intro the other day, even though we're gonna try to upload these videos simultaneously. And I don't, I don't think I mentioned that, um, I might have implied that we are mutually making videos of each other's drawings and corresponding show and tells of the items. So I drew some items for him as well. And, uh, anyways, in his intro to his video, he was talking about how he enjoyed the Otzi, the Iceman video. And I think, I think he left a comment saying how it sparked the question of what the evolution, evolutionary benefit or, um, what the benefit or uh, what the origin yeah what the what would the corresponding explanation for ASMR have been evolutionarily and that really made me think you know for all this for how much I talk about psychology and evolution, history, ancient history. You would think I would have thought about ASMR and its possible biological or evolutionary advantage, but no, <laughs> I haven't. So I just. I thought that was very in insightful from Arctica to uh, posit that as a question. Yeah, it made me think. And then, of course, I thought about his qualities 
what qualities about his videos and his personality that radiate the spark towards ASMR. I think um, it made me think that maybe it was a, a form of bonding because I feel like ASMR is very closely linked to letting your guard down and trust and intimate sounds because after all your ears are on your head and your head is arguably the the most exposed the most important part of your body. It's the least expendable, I would say, part of your body. And so letting letting someone get so close as to as to whisper in your ear. feeling is, uh, you know, probably very much linked with some rush of serotonin or dopamine or whatever chemicals make you feel good. So I thought that was, I thought that was very insightful and, uh, a really interesting question, uh, to pose regards to ASMR and evolution. Anyways, on to our last item here. And that is the bananas that Arctica drew. Every single one of them had some relevance to me in my life. So, whether that's a testament of me showing my, too much in my videos, or him just being a very observant individual. I think it was really cool that he drew me such practical items, so I'm very thankful for that, Arctica. He knows I make smoothies, and I certainly put bananas in those smoothies. So this is really cool. Even though it wouldn't have been that big a deal. If I... Even if I didn't really use them. But... The fact that I do... Makes it doubly cool. squeaky. Very, very squeaky. These things must have a lot of wax on them. Very waxy. So, it was great, it was great that uh, he, uh, he drew such practical items for me. 
I can only hope that he uses the ones I drew him. And I won't give them away, just in case you haven't seen the video yet on his channel. And his subsequent show and tell of the items, but maybe, maybe he did, or maybe he was just being really, really kind to sport, and uh, went and bought them anyways. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a blast collaborating with Arctica. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, he's a, just a genuine person, which is rare sometimes so um he actually just passed the 10,000 sub mark and he, he's rising too so i just want to congratulate him for that i think that's so cool and he if anyone deserves it he certainly does so it's so so great you know to see good quality deus artists getting recognition like that so this was a blast collabing with him and i look forward to many more i wish him the best and i hope that you guys will go check out his material his content his channel if you haven't already although i really again doubt that you know about my channel without knowing about his um if you haven't known Seriously, he's probably one of the best his artists out there. But check it out. Definitely, you're, uh, you'll do yourself a big, big favor by checking his stuff out. Get some sleep. So, go show him some support. And let us both know what you thought about the collab. With any luck, there will be many more to come. Sleep well.